Let's continue with our business coverage and focusing on technology and the growing impact of artificial intelligence. As Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak has told the BBC, he believes AI is going to make scams and misinformation harder to spot, voicing fears the technology may be harnessed by bad actors. He's been speaking to our technology editor, Zoe Kleinman. The trouble is AI is so intelligent, it's open to the bad players, the ones that want to trick you about who they are. Are they trying to sell you something you don't want? Are they trying to trick you to get your, your account information? You know, we see malicious intrusions all the time, both personal and companies that get intruded and millions of, of accounts get you know exposed and all that. That's only going to, I would only expect that to become worse of a problem than it is now. Do you think regulators are going to get it right this time, you know, nearer to the beginning? Oh, I do not think so at all. Um, I think the, the forces that drive for money compared to the forces that drive for caring about us, for love, for feelings, for emotions, uh, I think the forces that drive for money um, uh, usually win out. You know, it's sort of sad. If you were in charge of regulating AI, what would you do first? Anything's published with AI, you as a reader, should be told this was created by AI and I'm posting it to you. And the person who posted and even the um, the the massive global broadcasting media that posted should have some responsibility. Do you think it's just a trend, AI? Or do you think it's gonna be the big game changer? I think it's gonna get um, better in what it's able to do. And hopefully, 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 we finally, you know, agree on, you know, regulations that, um, basically say you do the bad things, you know, you're out of line, you'll be punished and this and that, especially to the big companies that feel they can kind of get away with anything. We've got legislation coming here in the UK, which is uh, calling on uh, companies to be able to access messages that are end-to-end -end encrypted um, if law enforcement wants to or needs to. What, what do you think about that? That's a hard one. I don't always have the same response, but pretty much I'm on the side that we should be able to encrypt. I should be able to whisper in a friend's ear without anyone knowing what I'm saying. I should be able to talk to my wife without anyone knowing what I'm saying. And now it's all known. And I don't, I don't think that that's right as human beings. You know, what should we be? The other side is there are a lot of crimes possible on us now. And those crimes are used on the internet to kind of hide data. When you want to hide, it's usually because you feel that what you're doing is wrong. So um, I don't know. The trouble is, do you trust any large entity like a government to have a back door so that everything you're sending in email and all that is uh, visible? I don't know if the government's who we want to trust.